Welcome back to DevOps Camp. This is the next video of the Linux Systems Administration course. In this video I will show you how to install latest Ubuntu OS as a virtual machine on VirtualBox. In case you are wondering, Ubuntu is an African word meaning humanity and is often translated as humanity towards others. In this video, we will use VirtualBox to install Ubuntu as a virtual machine because it's free, but you can also use VMware. The first step is to download the VirtualBox installer for OS, which is probably Windows or Mac. In this video, I'll show you how to install Ubuntu on VirtualBox in Windows. First, search for VirtualBox on your preferred search engine and go to the virtualbox.org site. Then, click on Downloads to go to the download web page. Here, you can download the binary version for your operating system. I will be clicking on Windows Hosts as I'm installing VirtualBox on my Windows machine. I would also recommend downloading and installing another piece of software, which is optional, but recommended, which is called the VirtualBox Extension Pack. There's only one version for all platforms. You can download it from the same web page of the VirtualBox. After downloading both, first let's run the VirtualBox executable to begin installing the software. The installation process is straightforward. Just click next a few times and installation will be finished. Since I have already installed a virtual machine, it is showing here when I open VirtualBox. But for you, this window will be blank. Now, we can install VirtualBox Extension Pack which we have downloaded earlier. Since I have already installed it, it is showing reinstall to me. But you will get the window to install. Its installation will finish in just a matter of seconds. We are done with installing VirtualBox. Now let's download and install Ubuntu Desktop Edition on VirtualBox as a virtual machine. First search Ubuntu Desktop and go to the Ubuntu website. You can view the system requirements to install Ubuntu Desktop Edition. The hardware requirements for Ubuntu Desktop Edition are at least 4 GB of RAM and 25 GB of free space on your disk. Now we'll go ahead and download the latest version of Ubuntu LTS stands for long-term support, which means 5 years of free security and maintenance updates. If you only have an older system available, you could try a lightweight desktop environment such as XFCE that runs on Zubuntu or LXD which runs on Lubuntu. We are talking about the same system, only the GUI is different. I'm also a fan of Linux Mint, which has a very friendly user interface. If you have enough space on your disk, you can try them all. Note that you also need a good internet connection to download this Ubuntu ISO file and update the software. After the Ubuntu ISO is downloaded, open the VirtualBox software. Here I'm going to create a new virtual machine with the downloaded Ubuntu ISO image. In the top toolbar, go to Machine and click New. In this window, give a relevant name like Ubuntu 24.04 to your new VM. Next, select the ISO file you've just downloaded. It's probably in your downloads directory. In my case, I have moved it to a separate folder. Browse the file system and select the Ubuntu ISO file. Also check skip unattended installation. Follow the same steps so that we remain consistent throughout this installation guide. 
then click Next. In this window, allocate at least 4 GB of RAM to the VM. Keep in mind that the more RAM you allocate, the faster it will run. Note that you can change this value at any time to test different values. After setting the RAM, click Next. Now it's time to create a virtual disk, which will serve as the hard disk of your virtual Linux system. This is where Ubuntu will store its files and is completely isolated in a single disk file. Give it at least 25 gigabytes and leave everything else to the default values. Then, click Next. In this window you will see the summary. Finally, click Finish to complete setting up the VM. Now, you can see the newly created Ubuntu VM is displayed. Now, let's start the VM. Click on the Ubuntu VM, and then click on Start. Then the VM will start. Now, select the Try or Install Ubuntu option from the menu using the keyboard. If you face a difficulty of getting the mouse pointer out of the VM screen, press right control button on the keyboard and try again. The starting will take some time, please be patient. After the VM has booted up, click on Install Ubuntu. Now, follow the on-screen instructions to continue the installation. It's simple. If you get a window like this, you can choose either skip or update now. I recommend you to update before continuing. Then click on close installer. And wait a few seconds. After the install Ubuntu icon appears, double click on it and start the installation process again and follow the instructions. Please proceed with the default settings for most of the options, only change when I change it. Here, mark install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi. Fill the following with whatever the details you prefer. Don't forget to choose a password you can remember as it will be needed for you to log into the OS. Now, click on Install. This installation process can take from 30 minutes to 1 hour. Please be patient. After the installation is finished, click Restart Now.
Here, you just need to press enter and the rest will follow. Now your system is booted. Click on your profile name, then enter the password, and press enter to log into the system. Congratulations! Now you have successfully logged into the Ubuntu VM. There will be some on-screen instructions displayed in the window when you click on the window. Now let's try to check whether if we have access to the internet. For that let's open a terminal by right-clicking and selecting open a new terminal. We will be using the command ping which is used to check the connectivity to a website or a DNS server. Let's ping google.com to check whether we get a response from it. This can also be done by opening the web browser and navigating to google.com. As you can see, we are getting a response from google.com, we can conclude we have an active internet connection. To interrupt the command, you can press C in your keyboard with control. You can also be experiencing a difficulty in getting the VM to full screen. Don't worry, I will guide you through the next steps to configure the Ubuntu VM in the following video. Be sure to subscribe to DevOps Camp. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.